Ladies and gentlemen, James Lane here in an episode 153 of the American Reveille podcast. Dr. Rand Paul, that's Senator Dr. Rand Paul. I guess he's Senator Dr. Dr. Senator Rand Paul. However you want to say it. All right. He comes down hard on Dr. Fauci, his support for and funding of gain of function research throughout the world, throughout the country. And of course, at the Wuhan uh, Institute of Virology in Wuhan, China, where the virus has allegedly come from, where the outbreak began. Listen, apparently, apparently these viruses had 15 percent mortality rates that they were experimenting with. And this was a risk that Fauci was willing to take. Dr. Rand Paul exposes it on Hannity. There's some stuff to talk about there. And uh, there's a lot to talk about with Dr. Fauci because he seems to be a narcissist. He seems to be out of his mind. He seems to have a, 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 a messianic complex, I think, between you and me. Dr. Fauci believes he's Jesus Christ. Well, we're going to have to talk about that more next. Ladies and gentlemen, James Lane here, episode 153 of the American Revely podcast, talking about Dr. Rand Paul, talking about Dr. Fauci, talking about uh, these two doctors duking it out mentally uh, uh, with that political chess game going on in Washington, where we all know the fraudster, the liar, and uh, uh, just the, the modern day terror that is Dr. Fauci and his incompetence, his bumbling incompetence when it comes to COVID-19 and most likely everything else he's ever uh, uh, gone uh, through with. Listen, listen, Rand Paul blasts Fauci's gain of function research support. He warns that the Wuhan lab experimenting with viruses were experimenting with viruses that had 15% mortality. All right. That is a, uh, a, uh, have species ending guys that's hundreds of millions of deaths if something like that were to release so why can't we investigate why can't we look why can't we dig and the further we dig the deeper we dig uh uh the closer the closer we get to nothing we get roadblocks we get dr fauci literally comparing himself with a science literally saying if you go against me you go against the nature of science itself bow down before me your god jesus christ fauci himself terrifying terrifying and god forgive me for saying that uh i i meant only to to uh, uh enunciate the seriousness and enunciate the the literal insanity of a man with a power trip raised into this position where he can literally play god play god around the world it's horrifying it's terrifying. It's troubling, to say the least. Guys, do me a favor. Support this show. Check out our sponsor, all right? This episode is sponsored by Life Change Tea. You go to getthetea.com. You can get yourself some Life Change Tea. Use promo code JAMES. Free shipping and handling. Life Change Tea is a proprietary blend of different herbs from around the world, obviously put together here in the USA, but they're from all of these rare places, and they do these wonderful things inside of your body to remove the toxins, get anything that's stuck in the gut, out of the gut, folks, I've been drinking Life Change Tea for like three months now, every day, two glasses a day, and I've lost at least 20 pounds, at least 20 pounds. I'm not lying to you. I've noticed a huge difference. Do me a favor. You stick around for an extra minute or two at the end of this episode. I'll put a little video at the end. You can uh, check out Life Change Tea. Or if you're looking for a gentle cleanse that'll make you feel better and flatten your tummy and uh, uh, literally, literally make you feel empty you know that gassy full feeling when you just can't get uh, uh that digested food out where you just feel like no matter what you do you've got that that fullness ever since i started drinking this it has alleviated that so do me a favor get the tea.com get yourself some life change tea use promo code james free shipping and handling guys look in the description section below all right 
That's where you'll find all of our social media. We're everywhere. Parlor, Gab, me, we all over the place. All right. Look for us for our video for our audio only on Apple Podcasts. Five star rating, please. Uh, if you listen on Spotify, we've got the links there, too. All right, guys, do me a favor and subscribe. Do me a favor and share. Leave a comment. All right. We need your help to spread the word about the American Revely. I can't do it without you. And uh, I can't stress it enough. The censorship wall is real. It is huge and it is heavy, guys. So help lift it with me. All right. And uh, 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 just get out there and talk about what we do here. All right. It's not just a podcast. We have blogs. We have articles where we have projects we're putting together for the future. We are working on spreading this across the country. All right. We are putting a sticker contest together. The new website is coming very soon. Don't worry. We've got some kinks that we had to work out, but they're getting worked out. All right. And this is still launching forward, whether the times are tough and the famine is uh, is 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 real right? Or whether it's time to feast and, uh, and the word is getting out, the revelry still rolls on the same. I'm still as dedicated the same to pushing out entertainment that is fact based that truly, truly gets the the opinion and beliefs of the people out that represents the 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 true soul of what we're trying to do here represents the American patriots standing up for their rights in this country and truly represents us and what we believe in, all right, what we the people truly want in this country. So whether there's five people reading it or five million people reading it, whether there's 10 people watching or 10 million people watching the American Revely podcast, it is for you. It is all in our hands. And I thank you for your help, guys. So listen, Rand Paul, he's blasting Fauci, all right? I put together these two articles. They, they're uh, coming out of Breitbart. It's really going to show you this contrast of what's been going on. And it's truly terrifying. It's truly terrifying. Rand Paul's going to lay out this gain of function research. All right. Rand Paul blasts Fauci's gain of function research support, warns the Wuhan lab experimenting with viruses that have 15% mortality. And you know that Fauci's denied these things. And you know by the emails that have come out that that is a lie. The fact that there isn't an investigation on Fauci is proof within itself that corruption is deep within our government, ladies and gentlemen. Let's start reading. Friday, during an appearance on FNC's Hannity, Senator Rand Paul criticized White House Chief Medical Advisor Dr. Anthony Fauci for his reported support of so-called gain-of-function research. According to the Kentucky Republican lawmaker, Fauci's trust in Chinese scientists was misguided and said that the impact of the globe's current bout with COVID-19 could be minuscule, minuscule compared to the other viruses the Wuhan Laboratory of Virology was allegedly researching. And really quick, guys, what's really, really crazy about this is that Fauci has such a blind trust in the Chinese Communist Party, in the Chinese government, in the scientists doing military experimentation. And oh, yeah, they were doing military experimentation in the Wuhan uh, Institute of Virology. It is insane to think that Fauci himself might not be a compromised agent of the CCP. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I'm going there. All right. They censor you and screw you enough. You start being coming an Alex Jones. You start feeling like a conspiracy theorist, ladies and gentlemen. I'm feeling like Mel Gibson in conspiracy theory, putting freaking bottle of beer in my door to see if anybody's jiggling the doorknob. This stuff's getting wild. I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you, for all I know, for all you know, for all we know, Dr. Fauci is a member of the Chinese Communist Party. Who is funding him? Who is personally putting up money into his own bank accounts? Is there a trail? Can we get his tax records? Can we look at his deposit slips, his bank statements? Because I haven't seen any of that money. So let's follow it. Let's follow the money because I don't trust Dr. Fauci. I don't. And he's telling us to trust the Chinese Communist Party, a party that lies about things like Tiananmen Square, saying that it uh, what did they say about Tiananmen Square the other day? They said that it was um, 
some sort of what like, they didn't mention the massacre, right? China put their spin on it, saying that it was like a proof case against capitalism or something like that. Not capitalism, democracy. All right. Listen, I probably got it wrong. I probably gutted it up. My memory isn't perfect, but I'm going to tell you the Chinese Communist Party spews proof every day that they're genocidal, homicidal maniacs, ladies and gentlemen, akin and surpassing the likes of Adolf Hitler. All right. Just because we don't hear German doesn't mean it isn't happening. And no offense to Germans. I'm just making a World War II reference. All right. History is history, ladies and gentlemen, and we don't uh, need to forget any of it. Listen, we need to keep reading this. You know, this is a quote, you know, there's been no more prominent scientist in favor of gain of function research than Dr. Fauci, Rand said. He still hasn't backed off that position. He believes that it's okay to take animal viruses, make them into super viruses to infect humans, even if a pandemic should occur. He says, oh, the research is worth it. But you know, there's a host of other scientists in this field, and they say it's not worth it at all. And we haven't learned learned anything. And all we've done is put ourselves at risk. Doesn't this sound like the script of a movie, ladies and gentlemen? It sounds literally, literally like somebody wrote it to be a sci-fi movie. All right. Like the movie Outbreak or just some other ridiculous virus movie. All right. We shouldn't be researching these things. But here we are in 2020, 2021, probably for years now, decades now, literally creating, as uh, 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 others may say, uh, super viruses, super viruses. And he's absolutely right to ask what the hell would happen if a super virus with a 15 percent mortality rate got out? COVID doesn't have a 15% mortality rate. COVID's mortality rate is like way under 1%, way under there somewhere. I mean, maybe like 0.9, something like that. I don't know. But we did not experience anything the likes of which we could have if what this uh, theory is proving to be proves true. All right. The evidence is definitely piling up. Rand continued, but even after all of this evidence points towards the Wuhan lab, this last week in committee, Dr. Fauci said that he still trusts the Chinese scientists. And the thing is that a very naive notion. Um, oh, excuse me. It's not that is. And the thing is, that's a very naive notion, Paul continued. That's how we got here. But there are worse viruses. This is a bad one. This has about a 1% mortality. All right, I was a little off. Three and a half million people have died, but they've been experimenting with some viruses that have 15% mortality. That would mean 50 million deaths right now. That is a big, big number. So this kind of research needs not be funded by the U.S. taxpayer. And so I had an amendment this week that passed actually unanimously saying no more funds for this Wuhan lab. So we'll see what Dr. Fauci has to say. But he really doesn't have the judgment to be in the position he is in. And as you've seen in the past couple of days, Rand Paul has been calling for Fauci's firing. In fact, Plenty of people, uh, Kevin McCarthy, Tom Cotton, uh, all kinds of, of influencers and radio personalities, even people on the other side of the table. They've all been calling for Dr. Fauci either to be investigated or to step down. It's pretty funny. All of the things we talked about last year uh, that they called us crazy for. They're all coming true, right? And so how does Dr. Fauci respond to these things? How does he feel? about these attacks. Well, these attacks aren't really against him. No, th these attacks are against science itself because Dr. Fauci, oh, hail Jesus Fauci. He is literally the embodiment, the entombment, the spirit of science itself, according to Dr. Fauci, at least, the prime narcissist and uh, 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 borderline personality disorder, to say the least. Uh, candidate. I mean, he's, he is out of his mind. Look, Fauci, recent attacks on me really very much an attack on science. What kind of deflective tactic is that you psychopath? What a crazy person. Guys, do me a favor. Again, like, subscribe, 
share this podcast, talk about this podcast, email me, James Lane at American Revely.com, R E V E I L L E. If you have a skill set that you think could help us out, we always are looking for bloggers. You can send me a writing sample. We need social media people. We need all kinds of folks that can help me build this up. All right. It's, uh, it's been, Definitely a challenge. It's been a journey this last year plus building this thing. And uh, I'm always, always, always looking for talent. So email me, James Lane at American Revely.com. Somebody who's not looking for talent, Dr. Fauci, somebody who's just looking for a communist payout. He thinks that the attacks against him are attacks on science itself. All right, listen, on Friday's broadcast of MSDNC's Rachel Maddow show, White House Chief Medical Advisor Dr. Anthony Fauci stated that recent criticisms of him are really very much just an attack on science. And and the thread going through what's happening now is very much an anti-science approach. Really, really flip flop. Host Rachel Maddow added, am I building you up to be thicker skinned about this than you are? are? Are you actually worried about this new sort of re-upping of attacks on you? Fauci responded, quote, well, I, I'm concerned about that more because it, it really very much, uh, it's an attack on science, I, I think, Rachel. He, he then discussed, sorry, I had to do the, I have to, I have to feel the character. He then discussed his conflict with AIDS activists in the past and stated that those activists were fundamentally good people. They were not anti-science. What, what is the thread going through what's happening now? It's a very much anti-science approach. So, so that's a big, big difference. I mean, it, it is what it is. I, I'm a public figure. Oh, I'm going to take the arrows and the slings, but uh, they, they're just fabricated. And that's, that's just what it is. Oh, they're fa- your gain of function research is all fabricated. Your support of the Chinese communists, it's all fabricated. No, Dr. Fauci, your career your expertise, your credentialing, your literal uh, uh, history seems to be fabricated. It seems that all of these things about you, all of these things you're built up to be are all a facade for the tiny, little, short statured, angry man that you are full of lies, full of hate and full of deceit and treachery for the United States of America, because you've obviously sold out to the Chinese Communist Party. Fauci later added that the origin of the virus is an important question, but it's being approached now in a very vehement way, in a very distorted way, I I believe, by attacking me. Oh, okay. All right. Dr. Fauci obviously has a God complex, is a messianic complex. He thinks that he is the savior of this country. He thinks he saved the world once with the AIDS epidemic. He thinks he's saving the world now by telling you to wear masks, not wear masks, wear masks again, maybe wear masks, don't wear masks, wear masks once on Tuesday, twice on Wednesday, three times on Friday, then burn them all on Saturday, then put the ashes back together, sew them up, soak them with water, put super glue on them and make a completely new material for a mask that you bring and get cancer later so he can sell you a pharmaceutical and make money. Oh, excuse me. I, I went way too far, way too far. But listen, listen, guys, Rand Paul's right. Fauci's wrong. And I have a feeling Fauci's head's on the chopping block. All right. They may defend him. He may be doubling down, but I think his days are numbered. All right. As I've said before, I think London Bridge is falling down. Joe Biden's administration can't figure out their head from their asshole, ladies and gentlemen. And it seems that their asshole right here thinks he is Jesus Christ. And people who think that way and feel that way always, always, always meet a political career, professional, personal, an end. They meet an end. They don't last in the public sphere. People don't like it. People don't want it. People hate it. And they push it away. And Dr. Fauci, you are being exposed. All right. We said it a year ago. We've all known the truth. And now the world is waking up to your lies. I salute Dr. Rand Paul for his work. He might be annoying at times. Stephen Crowder finds him to be way more annoying than I find him. I just find him to he's kind of like house. But a little weirder. I don't know how else to describe it. He he really I, I but I mean, he's smart. 
You can't argue with Dr. Rand Paul. And he did a bang up job exposing Fauci, uh, uh, keeping the pressure on him. And, and I think Fauci, he is just on the way out, folks. You let me know what you think in the comment section below, all right? Let me know what you think. And if you'd like, please go in the description section. Check out the part that says, please donate to us, help fund the American Revely. Click that link and please donate to what we are trying to do. Uh, I fund this whole thing myself and I could really use your help, guys. So if you put it in, we're going to make sure it goes right to what we are doing, right to our marketing, right to uh, 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 our equipment, right to our American Reveille, ladies and gentlemen, never in our pockets, folks. So please, if you can help out, check out our sponsors. That's a different way you could help out. Life Change Tea, get the tea.com. All right, use promo code James. That's free shipping and handling, guys. And I will see you on episode 154 of the American Reveille podcast. Bye. Ladies and gentlemen, James Lane here, and I want to tell you about Life Change Tea. That's right, Life Change Tea. I have a pack of it right here. Listen, as many of you know, I've been working really, really hard to get back in shape, okay? I, I, I was thinking lately, right? And, and you should probably be thinking about it too. With how crazy everything is, with how unstable the government seems, with all of these socialists, all of this leftist insanity you would just call insanity who knows when the hell i'm gonna have to run or when i'm gonna have to i, I don't know save my family from something i don't know so I, I was getting fatter and fatter and fatter feeling crappier and crappier and crappier my diet was junk i started by cleaning up the diet i've been working out more and more but i was still bloated i was still gassy i was still feeling crappy and i finally decided to to pull out an old trick in the book all right something that i used for weight loss in the past and it, it, I was thinking about a cleanse right maybe take something that would help me evacuate my bowels a little bit if you know what I mean but you know what I found what I found was something different I found life change tea all right www.getthetea.com I found this life change tea and instead uh, of a seven day or a 14 day cleanse a three day cleanse what they were offering was a daily a uh, 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 Tea, like a daily delicious iced tea, not not some kind of weird hot tea or some kind of uh, a nasty tasting thing. No, this was a, a health supplement. All right. I started reading about it and, and they were talking about all these herbs, these ancient herbs, right? This Look at this organic blessed thistle herb, malva leaf, organic marshmallow leaf. I didn't even know what the heck a marshmallow leaf was. Apparently it's for uh, anti-inflammatory and antioxidants and stuff. I looked some of this stuff up. It's crazy. Uh, 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 milk thistle extract that cleans your liver and kidneys. I mean, there's all these different things in here, but I was happy. I was attracted to it because it was all natural. It was put together in the U.S., right? Obviously, they've got to get spices from these very special places. Not spices, but, you know, these, these special herbs. They got to get them from special places around the world. But it's all done here. It's packaged, put together, and blended accordingly right here in the USA. All right? And I tried it. And it was delicious. Look at this. I'm old school. I fill a jug. You see this big jug right here? And for those listening uh, over there on Apple Podcasts and Spotify and everything like that, I'm holding this big gallon jug that used to be full of water. See those tea bags floating in the bottom there? This was full, guys. But I've been drinking it every day, twice a day, eight ounces. Take a listen. Pour it in the glass. Oh yeah, that's not a sound effect. That's real. Yes. Cheers, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, mabuhay to all my Filipino friends out there. Mm. I have the mint flavor. It's actually really good. I really like it. It's yummy. Look, this stuff's good. I can take that right now. I'm going to do two hours of podcast recording after this. It's not like me drinking that's going to send me running to the back. It's gentle. It's good stuff, all right? So it's got all these herbs. They cleanse you out. They right, make you regular again. They clean the toxins out of your system. They help you uh, clean the extra waste that's been stored up in the colon, the stuff that's not healthy for you, not good for you. It keeps the bloat down. I don't feel so swollen. You know how you feel like swollen sometimes? Your fingers. Yeah, you don't feel like that. It's gone. It's absolutely gone. So it's good stuff, guys. Listen, you have to go to 
getthetea.com. G-E-T-T-H-E-T-E-A.com. www.getthetea.com. www.getthetea.com. Promo code James, folks. Promo code James. That'll get you free shipping and handling. It's not expensive. It's good stuff, all right? It helps maintain your health. It cleanses your body from all kinds of toxins, all kinds of things that can cause colds and flus and different things like that. It keeps the bugs out real good. Uh, uh, it, it, it helps your digestion. All right. Just like I've been saying, my bloats, I feel so much better, guys. I feel so much better. And, and just in this journey that I'm taking to get back in shape, I really feel like it's helping me immensely. It really is. I really think so. So try it out, guys. Life Change Tea. You just saw me drink a bunch of it. You just saw my almost empty jug. That's, by the way, like the third jug. All right. That's not the first jug, not the first jug at all. Trust me. It's good stuff, guys. You're not going to be disappointed. You're going to thank me. All right. W.